You know who's amazing? Wally West. You know who else is amazing? Nightwing. You know what would be amazing? If they teamed up, which I conveniently have a comic for. Let's get on with Nightwing Split Second, a single issue storyline that took place between Nightwing Must Die and Nightwing Blockbuster. Blo blockbuster. Block Blockbusters. It Didn't that company go out of business? Somebody tell me if they went out of business. <laughs> And in our last video, Dick teamed up with Damian Wayne to take on two people who were posing as them and killing in their name. I'll link that video down below. But after following the clues back to Pig, the two learned that the man who was creating these people was Dr. Hurt. In the end, Dick managed to face his fears and break free from Dr. Hurt, but their new ally, Deathwing, took it upon himself to deliver the final blow. As Dick Grayson sits atop of a building in Bloodhaven, he thinks how most cities you can learn when crime is about to happen. In Metropolis, crime is always at high noon. For Gotham, right at midnight. For Bloodhaven, it's at the twilight. No sooner does he finish his thought than a scream can be heard from the alley. A mugger points his gun at a woman and tells her to hand over her things, and then one of Dick's batons flies through the air, knocking the gun away. The mugger turns back, swinging, telling him that he hopes he's quick, but the baton bounces off the metal ladder and it hits the mugger in the back of the head. Dick says physics were always his favorite subject as he catches the baton. And then he says, judging by that right hook, you're probably a former boxer, right? You really shouldn't be picking on a helpless woman. The woman grabs the gun, stating that she isn't helpless, and then she fires the gun at the mugger. Instinctively, Dick jumps in the path of the bullet, and he knows that there is no way that he can stop it, but there is a sudden flash, and Wally West runs in, grabbing the bullet, telling him, heh, rough night, huh? A short while later, as both the mugger and the woman are taken in by the police, Dick says that it's a good thing that he showed up, or someone may have been walking away in a body bag. He just wasn't fast enough. Wally runs around telling Dick, don't beat yourself up. We all can't be dimensionally displaced speedsters, can we? Dick tells Wally that he appreciates it, but what brings him to this place? The Titans Tower is Shangri-La compared to this town. Wally tells him, yeah, well, Shangri-La is overrated and I got really bored. Barry is always running off doing something and Linda is a non-starter and right now I really just need my friend. And who else better than Nightwing? Dick laughs and tells him, okay, how about we skip patrol for a few hours and we have a guy's night out. There's a few good places not crawling with tourists around here. So the two heroes head down to the bar to grab a drink, and no sooner do they sit down than two women begin to hit on them. I mean, this is Nightwing and Wally West. The girls introduce themselves, and they say that if these guys are interested, they're sitting in the corner booth. Dick asks Wally, what do you think? It's been a while since you got to be my wingman. Wally tells him, I know that Linda and I aren't together, but I'm still in love with her, so probably not the best idea. Dick finishes his drink, and then he says, I got an idea then. One lame pirate movie later, Dick and Wally leave the theater, and Wally says, for a pirate flick, that was pretty bleak. At least the popcorn was good. And then a girl screams out, shouting that her bag literally just disappeared. And another man says his phone is gone. Some other people begin to notice that things are missing, and Wally says that his wallet is also missing, and Dick mentions his watch is gone too. Wally says that he felt something a second ago, like time just skipped a beat. Wally stands there, and he begins to vibrate, and as Dick asks, what is he doing? Wally tells him that he's channeling the speed force. If he focuses, he can listen to it, and since any disruptions, just think of it as feeling out a glitch in the matrix. He then points, stating, whatever it is, it's heading in that direction. Seconds later, the two suit up as Nightwing and the Flash, and they begin to follow the trail to another part of the town. As they watch, they notice all of the people stop moving, and a single man running through the crowds, taking things off of them. As Dick looks closer, he says that he's seen that harness before, but he can't quite put his finger on it. Once the time field fades, Dick and Wally chase after the thief, and Wally quickly grabs the bag, telling him, man, everything's in here! He then pulls out Dick's watch, telling him, check it out. And Dick asks the man, who is he? The thief says that he's been kicking around a name. He was thinking about the name Time Bomb, but Dick then says, good enough for him. And he swings, but as he does, Time Bomb appears behind Dick, telling him, you kind of missed. Dick tries again, but each time Time Bomb just disappears and reappears somewhere else. Time Bomb then punches Dick in the back, telling him, I used to think you superheroes are cool, but the two of you really are just tools. Wally runs in punching, telling him, you really need to work on your banter. But just like Dick, all of Wally's moves miss. After reappearing, Time Bomb knocks Wally down towards the railway tracks and freezes him in place. Dick watches and then realizes the tech that Time Bomb is using is the alien tech from the second hand. He then shouts that he really has no idea what he's messing with, and Time Bomb tells him, sure I do. And right now, I'm thinking of going out on a much larger scale. Just then, a train sounds off its horn, and Time Bomb tells him, looks like your friend's about to be catching the train early. Dick tries to figure out what to do, and just like before, instinctively, he jumps down into the time field, pushing Wally out of the path. As soon as Wally's feet touches the ground, he whips it back around, pulling Dick out, telling him, whoa, I could have been killed. 
Time Bomb, thinking that the train just hit the two heroes, shouts, Yes! I destroyed them! But before he can enjoy his victory, there's a tap on his shoulder, and Dick swings, telling him, Time out for Time Bomb. As Dick picks up Time Bomb, Wally asks, Really? Time out? And Dick says, Yeah, well, I thought it was funny. But as the two head back to return the stolen goods over at Wales and a Harbor, a man says that it seems the time-freezing gizmo has been picked up by the police. The man climbing up the side of the boat throws a fish on the ground and he says, Yeah, Nightwing needs to be taught to stick to the friendly skies instead of diving into the hostile waters. Because Bloodhaven belongs to Tiger Shark. All right, now that I'm back, I can tell you Blockbuster did officially go out of business. There's like one left up in like some crazy corner of the United States. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that Nightwing Flash team up video. I thought it was really interesting and just a fun little excursion for two of the best friends within the DC universe. At least they used to be before DC had a whole bunch of reboots and they stopped hanging out. Anyway, click right here to get more Titans. Click right here to get more Flash. Down here is a subscription button. And if you subscribe today, I promise you, you will enjoy the next Nightwing and, and Wally West video, if we ever have one. You'll, you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will. But thank you, each and every one of you who have subscribed to this channel. We only exist because of you, and we will continue to exist as long as you watch this channel and all of our other channels. Could you go watch Eligible Monster? That's our gaming channel. And Manga Storian, that's our manga channel. We have a manga channel. We really appreciate it. I would thank all of you. And if, if you go subscribe to all of them, Houston will send you cookies. Yes, he will.